Hi church. This last week in our life group, <clears throat> one of our members was telling about all of the hard questions that her five-year-old had been asking about God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Basically, she felt like she needed a degree in theology to be able to answer some of his questions. And we were all you know, kind of commiserating with her and sympathizing with her. And then the next day, my six-year-old grandson called me to ask this question. If God loves everyone, does he love Satan? And I will have to say, I don't know that I've ever um, really thought about that before, nor seen it in any theology book that I've read. Kids have this natural curiosity about God and about spiritual things. And as the adults in their lives, it is our responsibility to feed that curiosity. Um, and we do that in two ways. We do that by pointing them to the scriptures. In Psalm 119 and verse 18, the psalmist writes, open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. And that should be our prayer for ourselves and also for those in our sphere of influence, that God would open our eyes, that we would see wonderful things about him and his plan and his purposes that are outlined in the scripture. So that's one way that we can feed that curiosity um, by pointing them to the scriptures using a kid-friendly translation so that it, they might have an easier time understanding God's word letting them see us ourselves in God's word, that this is a place where we go for answers. And I think the second way that we fuel that curiosity is by living our lives in a winsome way. When as adults, we act like Christianity is a burden, like the Bible is just a book full of do's and don'ts. And we go around kind of sad and grumpy and joyless when we talk about church or service as something that we have to do rather than something that we get to do. I think that that dulls that curiosity because I think people look at us and think, well, if that is what a believer is like, why would I want to be that? And so I would encourage you today, when you have those hard questions, when people are asking you those hard questions, go to God's word, ask him to open our eyes. But then let's live as those who have been bought by the blood of Christ, as those who have been redeemed and restored. And let's walk in that joy today.